uh, Dobbs Fury. That's always a team for us. Uh, making sure that we get a fair share of reference, whatever it may be. But uh, I feel like we're uh, we tackle whatever uh, issues come up. Uh, we try to be proactive. I think we may do the same thing. You know, uh, we get a lot of talks about uh, yeah, uh, how to regulate that. We talk about uh, one and done. Uh, a lot of talks about combine. We get a lot of talks about different things. And uh, I feel like there's a uh, really good uh, dialogue between the, the NBA and NBD as far as tackling issues before being inspired or before it's too late and then we're rushing to get things done. Knowing you, it seems like you'd like to be in a position of power. How is it being, uh, being who you are and being in a position of power within you know, a player association to fight on their behalf? Well, like I said before, I, I was one of the first, I was one of the vice presidents, uh, other seven vice presidents on the board. So I've been heavily involved since uh, just before Michelle um, was brought on as executive director. So I was behind the scenes with all the, the hiring process and that whole fiasco, how crazy that was. So um, I've been doing it for a good amount of time. So I feel like it, things won't change. You know, I'm always on all the calls, always involved, uh, expressing my opinion, getting the vibes and the feeling of the other players and their thoughts. So nothing's going to change for me personally. Is that something you kind of always wanted to be? Did you always want to be in the uh, active role in the Players Association coming into the league, or did someone groom you to say this is what you might want to be thinking about? It? I think it's more so just uh, once you get involved in something, you know, you want to know every side of it, ins and out, and, um, you know, we call it a fraternity. So you want to progress to the fraternity in any way possible. So if that opportunity comes available, I'm going to try to take advantage of it.